before I finish on all this, let me just ask, uh, I do a question of the week each week, and my question this week is, does Christianity make you rich? There are some people who think that being religious is a way to make money, and it certainly is. It's easy to make money out of gullible people through religion. And indeed, even amongst Christianity, it is. Um, I was, we were recently asked about having a Christian organization or church uh, come and use the building, and we refused. And the reason we refused is their leader has a personal fortune of 1.6 billion that he's made out of this. And not million, billion. And I'm sorry, but you can't. That, that's not what the church is for. And no matter if you use all the right evangelical language and talk about repentance and everything, that just doesn't, that just doesn't wash with biblical Christianity. So yeah, a fool and their money are easily parted. But it is also the case that if you become a Christian and reform your life, in many ways you could be richer. You could have spent all your money on, let's say, uh, drink or whatever, and then you no longer do so. You could be richer in different ways. But becoming a Christian isn't a way to make yourself uh, richer. For a start, I hope you'd be more generous. But it's like Zacchaeus, you give back four times what you've taken away from other people. But also, becoming a Christian could mean you become poorer. You could lose your job. You could lose your inheritance. I know of one man who was disinherited by his family because he became a believer. And you could be in a situation where what you were doing compelled you to lie and cheat, and you'll no longer do that. And so you lose out. Christianity is not a guarantee of worldly riches, but we receive the riches of heaven. I'm sure it was a Puritan who said this. I don't know which one, but it's true anyway. Um, the poorest man on earth who has Christ is richer than the wealthiest man who does not. So I just saw there's a house in Merriweather in the Newcastle Herald yesterday. There's a house in Merriweather going to break a record. It's up for sale for 10 million. Well, let me tell you this. You could be homeless and on the street and believe in Christ and you'd be wealthier than the person who's able to buy that house. That's the reality of what is being said. Our treasure is in heaven, but we enjoy much of it just now. We get a foretaste of heaven. Paul in Ephesians talks about the unsearchable riches of Christ. And if you want a book recommendation, hunt out a book by Thomas Brooks called exactly that, The Unsearchable Riches of Christ. It will warm your heart and it will really encourage you. So, let me just finish by saying this. All that we've got here today, and there's a lot, we could go more, um, tells us that Christianity is not magic, nor is it a formula, nor is it a program that can be bought, nor is it a get-rich-quick scheme. We've also learned that not all spiritual power is good and that the gospel should not be used to make personal profit. 